St. Joseph of America, Part 4 Revelations to Sister Mildred Mary Noisel March 18th, 1958 St. Joseph again appeared to me as he had promised and addressed me in these words. My child, I desire a day to be set aside to honor my fatherhood. The privilege of being chosen by God to be the virgin father of his son was mine alone, and no honor excluding that bestowed upon my holy spouse was ever or will ever be as sublime or as high as this. The Holy Trinity desires thus to honor me that in my unique fatherhood, all fatherhood might be blessed. And dear child, I was king in the little home of Nazareth, for I sheltered within it the Prince of Peace and the Queen of Heaven. To me they looked for protection and sustenance, and I did not fail them. I received from them the deepest love and reverence, for in me they saw him whose place I took over them. So the head of the family must be loved, obeyed and respected, and in return be a true father and protector to those under his care. In honoring, in a special way, my fatherhood, you also honor Jesus and Mary. The Divine Trinity has placed into our keeping the peace of the world. The imitation of the Holy Family, my child, of the virtues we practiced in our little home at Nazareth, is the way for all souls to that peace which comes from God alone and which none other can give. End of part four.